What are you doing? What do you got? He is addicted to these little cheese puffs. Do you want a cheese puff? <laughs> Porter, can you say, uh-oh? Uh-oh. Can you say, two? Two. <laughs> can you say, go? Da. Can you say, up? Oh. Can you say, down? Down. <laughs> can you say, no? No. <laughs> can you say, yes? He is just talking like crazy lately. All little words, but he just learns more and more words every day, huh? Good morning, you guys. Grayson is at preschool this morning. It might be his only day of preschool this week. We will see. Like I said in the last video, we are, no thank you. We are supposed to get a ton of snow um, in the next couple days. Like they're saying like, eight to 12 inches of snow and ice, I think. So I haven't checked the weather reports lately to see if that's changed, but Gray might not have preschool on Thursday, we'll see. But he had preschool today. It is February 1st, and so we're out of January, which I'm always relieved when we're out of January because I feel like it's just a long month of nothing and cold. February is the same, but it is shorter, so I do feel like February tends to go a little faster. But today is um, an exciting day because today I give my Valentine's Day present to Anthony. I'm giving it to him, what, 14 days early, 13 days early? He really wants to go see um, this band called the Wombats in concert, and it just so happens that... They are coming to Columbus today and today only. And so he said that's what he wanted for his Valentine's Day present. And so, um, well, I didn't necessarily pay for it since I don't work. I did go and I found a babysitter. So my parents are gonna watch the boys for us again. I feel like they've been babysitting a lot. Where's Porter? He loves putting that dinosaur mat on his head. Hi. You gonna put it back on? <clears throat> oh, he needs more, more puffs, huh? <clears throat> so anyway, like I said, my parents are gonna babysit the boys again for us, and I found a place for us to go to dinner beforehand, so I'm just figuring out like the logistics. So we are gonna go and do that. I. I know some of their songs, um, we have Sirius XM and so we have this channel called Alt Nation and so a lot of their songs are on Alt Nation. So I think I'll recognize a lot of the songs, I just don't think I'll necessarily like know them word for word, but Anthony knows a lot of their songs, so it'll be fun. It's at a venue we've never been to before. It's right across from Ohio State's campus, so we don't usually go like around that area so it'll be kind of interesting and different to go also today it's going to be a high of 50 degrees shockingly it's like the only warm day probably all of january and all of february um just randomly we have one 50 degree day and then in like by f like today's tuesday so like by friday it's supposed to be like a low of negative two so the weather's really gonna switch, but I'm hoping this 50 degree day will melt all the snow that we do have in preparation for this new sto snowstorm. So anyway, I'm hoping to get the boys outside for a little bit, maybe this afternoon, and just do some sidewalk chalk or something, or maybe go on a walk, that would be fun. So yeah, a lot of stuff going on today, yeah, but mostly the concert. I'll try and um, video a little bit of it. I'm interested to see like how this venue is usually we go to is that magenta usually we go to outdoor venues for concerts so um this will be interesting going to an indoor one so we'll see how it goes but yeah we're just kind of hanging out we're gonna enjoy our one nice day before we're snowed in and i go crazy with the boys because we can't leave the house <laughs> We have family that lives in the Toledo area, which is like two and a half hours north, almost like on the border of like Michigan. And they're supposed to get, I've seen some reports of like 
two feet up to like three feet of snow. I don't know if that's really gonna happen, but they're gonna get like a ton of snow. And people keep posting pictures on Facebook of like the grocery stores and they're like totally out of everything and um, like just bare shelves and just looks crazy there. It has not gotten like that here. I don't know if it's like hasn't hit yet or what, but I went and got groceries today. I just do like the Kroger pickup where I just drive up and they put it in my trunk. So we're all set to go um, to deal with this snowstorm. And yeah, we'll see how bad it gets. But we are ready for the sun for today, huh? You say hi. You say hi. Say I love you. Can you say mama? Say mama. You say mama? He's been saying mama here and there. He used to only say dada. And now he's starting to say mama again. He'll go mama, mama, mama. He's such a snuggler. Mama, mama, mama. It's like he forgot how to say it and then he just recently was like, oh yeah, I know how to do that. This is Porter's favorite place to be on our counter, huh? He likes to play with our Keurig machine, and play with the pods, and play with the Alexa. Huh. Yeah. yeah. So it's the afternoon. Boys, both boys took great naps. Porter's playing with bubbles. And Grayson is drawing with sidewalk chalk. What are you drawing, Gray? You draw an ABCs. Yeah. It is 50 out and sunny. Oh, you drawing too? Feels so good outside. I cannot believe it. Both boys took naps and they both took like two hour naps. This is so awesome. I got like time to myself. It's even more sweeter because um, yesterday they Gray didn't nap at all and Porter only took like an hour and a half. So they both took like horrible naps. <laughs> and then today it's like the complete opposite. So it felt so good to just have more me time. And um, we are just enjoying this awesome weather. And yeah, I should have went out and like walked around, but it honestly just felt good to sit and do nothing. So that's what I did with my free time. <laughs> Maybe we'll go on a walk here with the boys. We'll see. What are you doing? Come walk over here. C come here. Hey guys, so it's been several hours since the concert. Um, I managed to get a few clips, but I wanted to recap our night. So my parents came over to watch the boys and Anthony and I went um, to university area, Biohio State University. We used to go there all the time. A couple years ago, when my sister Allison went to school there, we would always go there and visit her. But we hadn't been there in several years. So it's really cool um, because they had been building up a lot of buildings. It looks a lot nicer than what it did. So that was cool. Parked in a parking garage and then we went to dinner. I asked my sister, because she used to go to school there, and I said, where is a great place to go to dinner before the concert? And so she told me, oh, you need to go to this restaurant. It was called Ethel and Tank. And we're like, oh, yeah, okay, we'll try it. So we went, and it was like a legit like college bar. Like It took me back. I felt very old being there. We were like the oldest. Well, it felt like we were the oldest people. It just felt like we were very out of place. Um, but they did have good food. Um, it was like bar food. It was a bar. We did get happy hours. So that was cool. So we got a drink. And yeah, it was just fun to people watch and see all the college students. Like I said, it was very much a college bar. The floors were very sticky. Um, the bathrooms were very scary, <laughs> but it was perfect because the location was literally like steps away from the venue. So we had dinner, it was good, and then we went to the concert. We actually had to wait in a long line. I was honestly kind of wondering how busy this concert was going to be. The band, the Wombats, is from the UK. They're not very well known. They've been around for a long time. They just, their songs haven't really like gotten popular. But there was actually a really long line. We waited in line, finally got in. Had never been to this place, this venue before. Newport, 
I honestly couldn't tell you what it is, but um, went inside and it was um, a, it was an intimate space, but they had an upstairs too, so it was like big, but it also felt um, intimate. It was actually really nice. We were wondering like how old is this building because a lot of the artwork and like just like the ceiling looked older and we looked it up and the building had just celebrated its 100 year anniversary like it's 100 years old so it was actually really cool to be in a building that was like that old and they just have concerts all the time they just have like a lot of very um not well known people come through and so they have concerts constantly I assume a lot of like college kids go to these concerts just because like it's literally like across the street from the university. So it, there were a lot of younger people there, but there were also a lot of people that were even older than Anthony and I there. So it was a good mix of people. So we went in, I was able to get this clip of the venue. We were kind of off to the side. There was definitely like a mosh pit area, but we kind of steered clear of that. There was um, an upstairs area, like I said. There was a, like you could get drinks. There wasn't any food though. And then there was the stage, and we were pretty close to the stage, which was nice. Um, they had an opening act, and it was hilarious because this opening act came on. They didn't really introduce themselves, and so I just thought that they were like the main band. And after a while, after like a song, Anthony was like, "Yeah, this isn't the Wombats," and I was like, "It's not." That was their opener. I honestly couldn't even tell you what their opener's name was. I liked a few of their songs, but you know, didn't really know them. Guess they were from Columbus. <laughs> a lot of people in the venue knew the band, so they were popular. And then the main band came on, the Wombats, and they said it was a really good concert. I thought it was okay, you know, like I said in the clip before, I didn't really know this band, and so I didn't know their songs word for word. I recognized some of their songs, but a lot of it, like, I didn't know, but the good thing about this band is a lot of their songs are peppy and upbeat, and I like songs like that, so I had no problem just, like, you know, bopping to the beat and just enjoying the music. Anthony really liked it. He knew a lot of the songs. It was fun to people watch. I just people watched a lot. It did feel like we were standing for a long time. I think we were at that venue for like three or three and a half to four hours and just standing. So after like the concert was over, Anthony and I were like, we need to sit. Like that's a long time standing. So we were feeling it. It did seem like it was a really long concert too, but it was good. We had a good time. We were able to see the band, hear the band. They performed well, Anthony had a good time, and that was the most important thing was that Anthony enjoyed it because it was his gift. So it was nice that we could get out on a date, just him and I, go to a concert. We don't go to concerts very often, so that was fun. And now I don't have to worry about Valentine's Day for Anthony because I already got him covered. So anyway, it was really fun. Um, I took some clips of the uh, concert, so I'll input those. Yeah, so thank you so much for watching. Um, make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!